The first generation BMW Z4 began production in July 2002 at BMW's plant in South Carolina, USA. It replaced the BMW Z3 that had proven to BMW that there was a place in the global market for a roadster from the brand and after starring in a James Bond film and having a James Bond edition, the Z3 managed just shy of 300,000 sales, meaning the follow-up act had a high expectation. The Z4 didn't disappoint and quickly found its market, selling just under 200,000 chassis over a six-year production. It was initially launched as a roadster at the Paris Motor Show in 2002, followed by the coupe launched in the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2005 to coincide with the facelift of the Z4 model. Convertibles are coded E85 across the model years and coupe models are coded E86. If you are looking for an early model from 2003, then you will be limited to the 2.5 or 3 litre engine, although these two options remain popular throughout the production years and many used buyers will find the 3 litre models usually demand a premium over the other engine options, so the 2.5 can be a great middle ground between power, handling and price. The Z4 had an array of chief designers but was given its final form and sign off by Anders Warning who went on to design the F10 generation BMW 5 series and now leads design at Rolls Royce. If you are looking for a used coupe model then note that the sales rate was 9 convertibles for every one coupe. This is mainly caused by the much shorter period the coupe was sold for limited to 2006 to 2008. For buyers that currently or previously owned a Z3 and are now considering getting a Z4 while they are relatively well priced on the used market, you should note that BMW changed the ride characteristics from the Z3 to the Z4. Where the Z3 was positioned to be a softer roadster, the Z4 leaned more towards a firmer chassis design. It is by no means a rock hard ride but designers aimed the car more towards a sports car market and took aim at the Porsche Boxster that was moving into its second generation at the time of the Z4 was released. We'll link our buyer's guide to the Boxster and Cayman at the end of the video. If you would prefer your Z4 to ride a little softer, avoid the sport trim and look for the smaller multi-spoke wheel design that allows for a thicker tyre sidewall. It will take a slight edge off cornering ability, but every pothole in the road will be that bit more bearable. For enthusiast drivers there are two options depending on your budget. A sport trim of the 3 litre model with some aftermarket components for the suspension and breathing modifications to the engine will make it a thoroughly enjoyable weekend car. Remember that bushings will likely be nearing two decades old and so replacing them all around with either standard items or stiffer polybushed items will enhance handling and feedback. If your budget stretches higher though then the Z4M is the car for you. Fitted with the E46 BMW M3 engine The E46 M3 CSL rear axle and brakes and hydraulic power steering for the Z4M model were sold on both the coupe and convertible with the coupe or roadster as BMW termed it getting the addition of a faster steering rack which is taken from the CSL M3. The convertible is fitted with regular M3 rack. The M model repatriates production of the Z4 and is the only variant built in Germany at the Spartanburg plant in Greer. Over the two years of production just shy of 10,000 units were made and just over 55% being Roadster models, North America took the bulk of the Roadster sales with just over 3,000 new deliveries and 1,800 convertible models. The rest were mainly spread through European nations with right-hand drive models now being very rare, so if you're part of the 35% of the world that drive on the left-hand side of the roadway, you'll have a bigger challenge with the UK being a core market for right-hand drive models. Core dates when looking for a BMW Z4 are 2003 being the first model sold, Early on you may be able to find a 2.5 or 3 litre model fitted with an SMG gearbox, however these were quite rare in most markets. Late 2003 into 2004 production adds the 2.2 6 cylinder engine, 2005 introduces the 2 litre 4 cylinder motor in selected markets, 2006 is a facelift or LCI model, changing the front and rear styling, adding the Roadster and M model, the end of the 2.2 litre engine as BMW sees offering the engine across their lineup. There is also the addition of a 6-speed automatic and 6-speed manual becomes standard across the range, replacing the 5-speed in all models except the 3-litre that are offered from launch with a 6-speed standard transmission. The last Z4 ever made was on the 28th of August 2008. Although safety accreditation have now expired for this first generation Z4, used buyers will be happy to know that it is an official NCAP safety rating in 2004, occupant safety was rated at 4 out of 5 stars. We will note that safety standards have become stricter since then, and so this is not the equivalent of today's testing but it's still a reasonable score compared to contemporary rivals. Next up are the common faults and as ever our lists are non-exhaustive and we encourage previous or current owners to add their experience. We will also stress that a common fault can affect as little as 0.5 production vehicles so be aware of the faults to look out for but don't expect them on every used car you go to see. 
First up is a technical service bulletin from BMW coded SI B24 0806 for 6-speed ZF transmissions coded either 6HP19-21 or 6HP26-28. The mechatronic sealing sleeve could fail causing a leak of transmission fluid. A range of fixes can be attempted, but replacing the part coded 243475888725 was BMW's answer if large deposits of fluid were leaking. Make sure the battery is in good health and ask an owner about their usage. As these vehicles have aged, many are now enthusiasts owned as weekend cars, but due to the lower use, some are kept on battery chargers, or in some term it, battery tenders. If one has been connected, it must be fitted to the terminals under the bonnet and not directly to the battery if the vehicle has an intelligent battery sensor. Connecting it directly to the battery can cause damage and cause a software error. If possible, attempt to look at the rear suspension springs for any signs of failures, as cracks can occur in the springs, if an owner has recently had them changed, take it as a positive buying sign. If you get a low oil warning light when shutting off the engine, but the engine oil is at the right level upon a physical check, this is likely a fault of the oil level sensor, which will need replacing. Again, weekend use cars may suffer dead batteries to the key, especially to the spare as the ignition charges the battery. To avoid this, alternate the use of the keys if you intend to only use the car occasionally. If a vehicle is left outside when not in use and you live in a region that can suffer extreme cold weather, then the battery may discharge overnight in such conditions due to a mode error on the terminal telematics control unit. Failures of the roof are usually linked to the drains blocking, causing water and dirt to remain trapped and submerging the motor in water. Check a used purchase has clear drains or plan to clear them yourself. And if intending to keep outside, either regular checks and cleans or the purchase of a car cover should avoid problems associated with blocked drains. Any dampness in the boot carpet or cabin area is a sure sign of a blockage. If you are struggling to clear the block drains due to the compaction of dirt and grime, many owners are forced to remove the roof and get the drain holes with a more robust tooling. The word Vanos is commonly followed by failure on BMW forums. We'll cover this in our engine section next. A reminder if you enjoy this video, consider adding a like to help YouTube understand that it was helpful and suggest it to others like yourself on the platform. And if you're enjoying our content, consider subscribing. Next up are the engines and we'll start with the 2 litre 4 cylinder that was offered from 2005 to 2008. This engine is coded N46B20 and as is mentioned in any enthusiast meets and forums, Europeans always keep a gem or two to themselves. In this case the engine isn't particularly special and is common in many base specification 3 series of the time, but it is the effect the engine has on the drive of the Z4. The 4 cylinder has an official weight of 1295 kilograms or 2855 pounds compared to the 3 litre model of similar age at 1,365 kilograms or 3,010 pounds. The 70 kilograms or 154 pounds difference in weight is similar to losing a passenger. The lighter front end also allows for a sharper turning and slightly more agile drive. But without wading into the fierce debate that fill forums with some saying the 4 cylinder is only for fools and other believing the 6 cylinder misses the engagement needed to get the full 4 cylinders moving, all I would say is that having driven every option of this generation Z4, the 2 litre was more fun than I had expected and actually having to constantly bury the throttle to keep pace added an engagement level that the 6 cylinders didn't have, although this would soon become tiring if you want your Z4 to be both a backroad sports car and a sunset cruiser. Or if being pushed into the back of your seat is more important than being forced into the side bolsters, but anyway, on to what to look out for. All models make 148 brake horsepower with an average of 37.7 miles per gallon or 7.49 litres per 100 kilometres. When searching the used market, look for one that has a history that includes refreshed gaskets or budget to have them replaced as preventative maintenance, as most common oil leaks are generally from failed seals or gaskets. When going to view a vehicle, ask an owner not to drive the vehicle before you arrive and start the engine from cold. If you hear a rattle for a couple of seconds after immediate startup, this is a sign of the cam chain tensioner beginning to fail. This is one of the pricier jobs, and so if you hear the rattle, make sure you are content with the sale price with the knowledge that a larger maintenance bill is coming up. The older version of the 2 litre is approaching 20 years old and so inspect the rubber hoses. There should be plenty of room in the engine bay to look around. If an owner has proof of these hoses and pipes being replaced recently, take it as a positive buying sign. Next up are the 2.2, 2.5 and 3 litre. All begin with engine codes M54. The 2.5 and 3 litre are then coded N52 in 2006 onwards and the 2.2 is dropped. Power is rated at 170 brake horsepower for the 2.2, 192 brake horsepower for the 2.5 and 231 brake horsepower for the 3 litre on the M54 engine codes. Once the switch happens to the N52 codes for 2006 model year vehicles onwards, the 2.5 will have 177 brake horsepower or if it is a 2.5 SI, 
it will have 218 brake horsepower. This will depend on your home market and emissions requirements when the vehicle was sold. The 3 litre also has mixed power offering with 218 brake horsepower as a 3 litre model in some markets, but the 3 litre SI gets 265 brake horsepower. Fuel economy doesn't vary much between the early 2.2 and 3 litre, a BMW figure of 29.7 miles per gallon or 9.51 litres per 100 kilometres for the 2.5 is a good average to expect. Later 2.5 and 3 litre models get an official average of 32.5 miles per gallon or 8.69 litres per 100 kilometres. One note is that although the 2.2 litre doesn't have much of a power bump compared to the 2 litre, it does have a higher torque across the rev range, meaning that it can be a bit of a bargain if speed isn't your main goal and the additional maintenance of a 6 cylinder is balanced against the straight 6 engine note. For many BMW enthusiasts, the following items to check will sound familiar. First up is Vanos failure. Specialists can generally get you back on the road quickly due to the problem being caused by hardening of the O-rings, meaning a replacement can solve the issue. Check that the replacements are made of a material known as Viton instead of Buna. This ensures better longevity. Coolant failures, generally due to perished hoses or gaskets somewhere in the cooling system. Similar to the 2 litre, gaskets and seals are the prime area for oil leaks to occur. This is where paying extra for one with a specialist service history that includes replacement of the gaskets can be worth it, as you may end up spending the additional amount to get this sorted on a model without history of it anyway. If you are a keen home mechanic, it can be worth doing this as a winter maintenance job so that you know that it's done. Next up is the M engine. We go into detail on this motor in our E46 M3 buyer's guide, so it's worth checking out that video for more information if your heart is set on a Z4M. The 3.2 litres S64 engine creates 343 brake horsepower and should average 23.3 miles per gallon or 12.12 .12 litres per 100 kilometres. Although I don't expect this if you are canyon hooning or b-road blasting. Key areas to check will be the cooling system and service history. Check for proof of the running service at around 1500 miles or 2000 kilometers. Missing the running service will be rare but could not only impact the engine as it ages but will likely affect its future value. Vanos failures, oil leaks and the front and rear main seals are the key areas to check. And look out for any history of rod bearing replacement. If this has been done take it as a positive buying sign. As the Z4M is likely to become appreciated even more as it ages, it is well worth paying for a specialist to perform a full inspection prior to purchase. Not only will this make you aware of any upcoming costs, but if you sell on in the future, a history that includes a previous pre-purchase inspection can be desirable in the classic and auction market. For our picks on our lower budget pick would be the 2 litre engine with the 2006 facelift in markets where it was offered, or an early 2.2 in markets that only had 6 cylinders. For a top budget, the 3 litre SI in coupe form will give all the performance many people will want in a road car while giving you the feel of a classic sports car, but the top money will always go to a Z4M. We also have a guide on the Porsche Boxster of the same generation and although it may not be a direct competitor, the MX-5 or Miata is worth considering. We'll link both of these videos below, but as ever, all the best with your car search.